Hello YouTubers, today me and my friend are going to demonstrate a simulation of single phase full bridge inverter using IGBTs. So what is an inverter? Basically inverter are devices which convert DC current to AC current. The DC source can be battery or output from control rectifier. The output voltage waveform of inverter can be square wave, quasi square wave or low distorted sine wave. The output voltage can be controlled with the help of drives of the switches. On the screen you are looking at circuit of single phase bridge inverter. Here in the circuit transistors are being used for switching. But in the simulation we will be using IGVTs as they are better than transistor for this purpose. Also along with transistor 4 diodes are used. The diodes are required for feedback when load is resistive. Here is the simulation circuit for our single phase full wave bridge rectifier. So basically how the circuit work is so when one branch is positive with respect to another, the diagonal IGBTs and diodes conduct. And in the negative half cycle, the remaining IGBTs and diode conducts and thus the full wave appears at the output. So let's have a look at working of the circuit and the expected waveform that we should get during simulation. When the load is resistive, the diode doesn't carry any current. Figure shows the waveforms. The IGBT 1 and 4 conducts from 0 to T by 2. Equivalent circuit 1 in figure shows the current path when IGBT 1 and 4 conduct. The output voltage and current are positive. Note that the amplitude of vo load voltage is Vs. At T by 2, IGBT 1 and 4 are turned off. IGBT 2 and 3 conduct from T by 2 to T. Equivalent circuit 2 shows the current path. Note that the output current is negative. The voltage is also negative. Thus, in positive half cycles, IGBT 1 and 4 conduct. And in negative high cycle, IGBT 2 and 3 conduct. The amplitude of the output voltage is plus minus Vs. The output is square wave. The currents through IGBT are also shown in the figure. Hello, this is Amit Singh and I am going to continue with the simulation of our circuit using IGBTs. Now, as you all can see that there are 4 IGBTs, 1, 2, 3 and 4 which will perform the inverting operation. For one cycle, IGBT1 and IGBT4 will conduct and for the another half cycle, IGBT2 and IGBT3 will conduct. IG1 is the gate current which is given to both IGBT1 and IGBT4 which will turn on when we trigger this current through the pulse generator. Similarly, IG2 is the gate current given to IGBT2 and IGBT3 which will be turned on by using pulse generator 2. The load is resistive and we have given both the triggering pulses IG1 and IG2 to the oscilloscope. Also, we have given the output current to the oscilloscope and, and the output voltage. We, have, we will draw the graph of uh, output voltage and output current by using XY graph. Now we will see the input of the pulse generator 1. Pulse generator 1 is given to IG1 which will trigger IGBT1 and IGBT2. We will see that the amplitude of this pulse is 2 which has a period of 100 samples. The pulse width is of 50 samples and phase delay is given 0. Also the sample time is 1 by 100. Similarly, the pulse generator 2 is given a amplitude of 2, same period of 100 samples, pulse width of 50, but we have given a phase delay of 50 and a sample time of 1 by 100 for the pulse generator 2, which will give trigger to IG2, which is used for triggering IGBT2 and IGBT3. Now, we will go with the simulation. Now you can see that the XY graph of the output current I0 and the output voltage V0 is a straight line. This means that both are in the same phase. This is because the load is resistive. Now let us see the oscilloscope. 
as you all can see the see that we have four graphs the first one represents the gate current ig1 or ig3 the second one represents the gate current ig2 or ig4 the third one represents the output current i0 and the fourth one represents the output voltage v as you can see the output current is a square ac wave and also the output voltage is also a square ac wave because the load is resistive thus by using our circuit we can produce an ac wave from a dc source now we will see the changes in the output current i0 and the output voltage v0 when we change the delay from 50 to some other value of the pulse generator 2 uh, let's see we are changing the delay from 50 to 30 let's do the simulation now as you can see that the graph between the output current i0 and the output voltage v0 is still a straight line this means that both are still in the same phase because the load is still resistive now let us see the oscilloscope now you can see that both the gate current ig1 and ig2 are still the um, pulse pulse waves but there is a change in the output current i0 and the output voltage v0 from the previous case you can see that there is a phase shift of 108 degree between the gate currents ig1 and the gate current ig2 we can also see that by varying the delay angle we can get uh, a controlled output voltage which is sinus which is ac and similarly the output voltage is in the same phase as that of current as you can see that this finishes our simulation of single phase full bridge inverters thank you for watching the video